Hello. I've heard people say a lot of times, I'm a failure. I'm afraid of failing. I failed. I won't start that business because I don't want to fail. Today I want to speak to you on what I've titled, Failure 101. There are certain men that you and I call successful. We call them great men. But you know, in one area or another, and at a certain time or another in their life, they have failed before. For great men, one of them is Michael Jordan, a great man indeed. But you know, Michael Jordan was caught from his high school team by his coach because he said he didn't have the skills. Warren Buffett was rejected by Harvard University. Another person is Richard Branson, the owner of Virgin Airlines. He was a high school dropout. Another person is Jesus Christ. On the cross of Calvary, people look at him and they said, wow, this man is failed. This man has been rejected. This man, they despised him. But you know, looking at the complete book of God, we know that he was a success. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible promises good success. What am I trying to say? The gist of my point to you today is that failure is not final. Failure happens to everybody. It is what you do with your failure that really matters. People fail at one time or another, but they decide to not sit down at their failure, but they do something about their failure and they move on with their failure. In life, we win some, we lose some, but you know, we we'll live to fight another day. Many of us have allowed the fear of failure to deter us from getting into opportunities. Because of the fear of failure, you have lost out on greatness. You have lost out on the trees, even of seeing a project being completed. The fear of failure is what has kept many people bound. And that's why they are not progressing. That's why they are not starting new businesses. That's why they are not entering into relationships. That's why they are not getting married. Because they are afraid it will not work. I want to encourage you today that you should not be afraid of failure because everybody fails. It is what we do with our failure that really matters. Failure is not something that should not be celebrated. Failure is not something we should be afraid of. Failure is not something that should deter us. But we should progress despite our failures. Quickly, let me tell you what you should do about your failure. What should you do about failure? The first thing you should do is you should learn to celebrate your failures because that shows, number one, that you are doing something. Number two, don't let your failure define you. Failure is just an act. It's just an act, sin one. It's not who you are. Some people, because they fail once, they allow that experience to define who they are. Don't let that failure define you. Instead, progress and move on. Number three, understand that anytime you fail, you learn. You learn new things. You learn ways in which things should not be done. Ask Thomas Edison. And he will tell you how many times he failed in trying to develop electricity. Number four, never, never stop. Don't let failure allow you to stop because you are not a failure until you stop. Keep progressing. Ask the man called Winston Churchill. He was the one who led the United Kingdom during the Second World War. He made a statement that I love. He said, never, ever give up. Until you give up, then you are not a failure. Keep progressing. Keep moving forward. So what do I say? I say fail fast. Fail quickly. Fail as much as you can. Enjoy yourself. Do not let your creativity be reduced because you are afraid of failure. Why do I say that? Why? Because many times we do not enjoy the thrill of completion and the thrill of success because we are afraid that we are going to fail. So I want to encourage you, go ahead, pursue that career, do that professional course, sit down for that exam, look at that lady, pursue after her, ask her out in marriage, do all that you need to do because you have not been given the spirit of fear but out of sound mind and you are made even for greatness. I'm your friend Fisayo Adeni and I want you to know that yes you can fulfill greatness. Keep pursuing purpose.